Pacific Pro. The concept. Cheap boat. Cheap materials. Ocean cruiser. For as long as it can go. If it's a light boat and can be taken in and out of the water all the time, let's say you close an ocean for a month or something and then you know let the boat dry. Take it out, put it in, put it up on a beach. Anyway, crab claw schooner rig. The rig goes full and aft. Two cables from lee pot to bow, lee pot to bow, and you can pull the foot fall aft, depends which way you're going. I've decided to use this rig because it's cheap, effective, and I hope I can balance the boat only by rig. That's why I went with a schooner, two sails. Vaca. Got a rudder at the back, it's just a blade, it gets pushed in through two metal kind of rings or something, I don't know, gets pushed through. Uh, they'll be connected to the hull, one at the top, one above the water line. Push that one in and off you go. Whole boat, whole boat's made out of spruce and uh, good quality poplar ply. We got over here two watertight compartments in each bow. Watertight and watertight. And then we got the mast stepped and connected to that bulkhead. It goes to the deck. Then we got a bed. Over here goes luggage, storage under the bed. This is the big compartment main cabin let's say so the bed will be dropped a piece of ply will be dropped over here and then you can lie through the aka bulkhead aka bulkhead massively built central bulkhead also same thing on the other side 15 uh, degrees dead rise length 23 foot vaca ama 15 foot stitch and glue as the ama um, at water line beam length ratio is 1 to 14 Six small ply, nice stuff. Internal and external stringers to prevent uh, delamination of the ply. <laughs> a lot of stringers, a lot of bulkheads, a lot of ribs. This string is not glued in yet, but it will get glued in and then it will have Stainless steel screws from the outside, screwed straight into the ribs. This one's the same deal, glued on but hasn't got the screws yet. I'm starting to work on my lee pod. That's just a piece of cardboard. I've got to figure out the center two pieces. Anyway, 250 liters displacement on this lee pod. I think it will do the trick. Two cables running, one to this bow on top of the lee pod, one to that bow on top of the lee pod. That's the idea at the moment. The lee pod will be strengthened with a lot of material, a lot of fiberglass. Might have a, let's say, shroud going from here up to there. And then the whole business gets caught onto that. We'll try to get that, make it tough. 
Over here we have uh, the AMA. AMA has two watertight display, uh, two watertight compartments. Then all this is water ballast, and then the two other ones at that end are watertight again. Stitch and glue, four mil ply, um, poplar. The VACA I've put in 3.7 centimeters of keel curve into this VACA I want it, I want the keel curve to help balance the boat keel goes like that this has all been epoxied I'm going to try and seal this boat as much as possible and I'm going to try and take it out of the water and let it dry as much as possible that's just an example of a blade that uh, could be used as a rudder, I'll probably have two or three different uh, rudders bigger and smaller blades uh, I'll definitely have a fragile set for when I'm coming into bays that I don't know I want to break the rudder when I hit the ground that's when I drop the anchor. Break the ladder, then hit, then drop anchor. <laughs> anyway, Akka bulkheads come out of here. Two Akkas coming over here to the armor. A lot of stringers on this boat. A lot of flames. I believe it'll be a fast boat. Relatively, seven, eight knots, probably not more. Um, gonna fiberglass it to above the waterline. At the moment, that's the plan. I don't think uh, fiberglass gives that, that much strength, but it does give a lot of weight. Good thing about popular ply is that it's half the weight of Okume. That's something that I do like. And uh, that's the catamaran I built. It's actually a really nice boat, sells really well. And uh, over there there's a skiff. That one's made out of poplar ply and it's held up. It's a good skiff, poplar ply, if it's good quality, actually lasts pretty well. That's what I've noticed on my skiff. As for rudder, we're gonna be using this concept on my cats. I just I just drop my ladder anywhere I want. If I put it over here or over here or over here, if I'm, to, if I'm doing a turn or if, I'm, if I want to balance, I just push the ladder to the side or drop it in a groove and it balances the boat. If I'm doing a big turn, I do the same thing. Then I sheet in, the boat turns. I don't hold the ladder.